AOC is basically inciting violence. She says that the Palestinians should riot against Israel. They have no choice but to commit violence and murder against the Jews. This is the article here, ladies and gentlemen, by Breitbart. Palestinians have no choice but to riot against Israel. What do you think about this here, Barry? I, mean, I got a couple of comments. The, the Palestinians she's referring to are the ones behind the border in Gaza. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of things. Number one, I've been there. I've been up to the border. I've been all around the border. And she hasn't. So her opinions are given to her largely by the socialist, communist, progressive group that advises her. So she comes up with inane comments like, committing violence is all they should do, and that's all they can do. The reality is, under the late Prime Minister Ariel Sharon, Israel withdrew 100% from Gaza. They dug up the cemeteries they had, they left the houses, they left the businesses, and of course the temples were um, destroyed and every Jew has left. And since 2006, it's all been Palestinians, all Muslim, all run by Hamas, a brutal, repressive, Islamic dictatorship. Now, if you disagree with that brutal Islamic dictatorship, they will beat you and then kill you, or beat you and then beat your family, or throw you off a building. Maybe you'll live, maybe you won't, but that's what they do. Uh, I had a captain in the IDF, actually he's a major now, took me right to the border and showed me the building that they throw off the protesters to their government into the street below. And what this major showed me is the building is not very tall because they don't want you to die when you bounce off the street they want you to die slowly in the street in front of a large crowd and anyone that comes to help you while you're dying and bleeding to death all over the street below well they take them up to the roof and they throw them off the roof now is that the government that AOC wants to support you betcha baby so when the Hamas government orders a thousand people or two thousand people to approach the border fence, riot, shoot through the fence, set kites on fire that float over and set Israeli towns on fire, bricks and homemade bombs thrown at the Israeli border guards. What she's really saying is she supports an invasion, killing Jews, because they have no choice. They have no choice about what? The reality is they're their own government. It's an independent, completely non-occupied territory for over a decade. What they ought to be doing is getting rid of the leadership that's stealing all the money that's donated, billions and billions of a, a year from the UN and the EU and other rich countries that the Hamas leadership parks in Switzerland. They live in massive estates, they fly on private jets, and the people that they are oppressing literally are starving to death. It has nothing to do with Israel. One more point that Go nobody ahead. seems to talk about. This is really important. I went to the border crossing. Every morning, hundreds of trucks line up, coming from Israel into Gaza. Those trucks, Jermaine, are carrying food, water, construction materials, etc. Hundreds of trucks, thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds of supplies coming from Israel into Gaza. Those trucks used to come to Egypt, from Egypt on that side. They don't come anymore because Egypt cut them off because they were sick of the terrorism. Literally, the tunnels coming under the border from Gaza into the Egyptian Sinai, and then the terrorists would blow up tour buses or ambush Egyptian troops. They got tired of having their people killed, so they said, screw it. They started blowing up tunnels and cut Gaza off. 
So Gaza's connection is through Israel, and Israel gives them, like I said, millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of supplies, not once in a while, every day. <laughs> and AOC thinks that it's appropriate to encourage the citizens of Gaza to bite the hand that feeds them. That's crazy.